All right, guys, welcome back. Um, today I have kind of a topic that's just going to talk about choices. I'm not telling you all how to live your life, but I want everyone to be aware of every choice that you make is either going to put you closer to what you want to achieve or take you back from what you want to achieve. And that can be anything. That can be from getting a strict pull up to losing weight, whatever it is, every choice that you make throughout the day is either making it go closer or it's pulling you back. So I have uh, three things that you can do that's involving working out, okay? Uh, the first thing is just getting to the gym, all right? Showing up, that's the number one thing you can do to help your performance in working out. The second thing is doing the proper scaling, whether that be um, scaling the weight down so you can do the movements to the best of your ability, the fastest, um, whatever that is, or it can mean scaling up, all right? If you're one of those people that always go to a 200 meter run, Maybe one day go to the 400, that's uh, prescribed. Okay, so that can be both ways. And the last one is doing your best to hit the range of motions that we do in these movements. We have a standard for the squat for a reason and that's because it gets results. So if you're one of those people that were always saying, hey, get a little lower in the squat, get a little lower, maybe one day you just decide on your own, you make the choice to grab yourself a med ball and just say, all right, I'm gonna squat to the med ball every single time in this workout so I make sure I hit the range of motion. There's a reason that we have these range of motion standards and it's because it gets results. If we sacrifice the range of motion, it does not get the best result. So the next one is three things that you can do right now and you can make the choice to do to improve overall performance. And these go outside of the gym, okay? The number one thing is sticking with real food. And I'm gonna to refer to real food a couple times during this video, and some of you might be a little lost in what real food is, but a really simple way to think of it is, it does this food go rotten? Was this either from an, right from an animal or from a plant, okay? Anything else that's in a package that's heavily processed and turned into some other thing, um, if we put that in our mouths, it's probably not going the right direction and what we want to achieve, right? We are not going moving forward, we're actually moving backwards. Uh, going to bed at a good hour, okay? I struggle with this. This is this means like, hey, instead of watching one more episode on Netflix, I'll just turn it off after my first one and go to bed. Maybe my bedtime is then 10 o'clock, not 11 o'clock. So just simple things like that. If I can get to bed even 30 minutes earlier than I normally would, that is gonna help your performance in the gym. And the last one that can kind of help performance is moving throughout the day. So if you're, if you're at a desk job or whatever it is, try to make a conscious choice to stand up and move a little bit. It doesn't have to be a lot, but go for a quick walk, do a couple air squats, do some moving throughout the day. That's gonna help your performance when you're in the gym, okay? And my last one revolves around three things that can help you if you're worried about your body composition. If you're trying to lose a little bit of weight, these are some tips that can help you do that. By losing some weight, I feel like a lot of the gymnastic movements that we do in the gym are just gonna become so much easier for you. A lot of you already have the strength to do a strict pull-up if we were just a little bit lighter. So here's some tips that can help you in that direction and some choices you should be making throughout the day. My first one, of course, is stick with real food. Now, if I'm nitpicking body composition, real food is gonna be real food, that's it. An approved brownie or a brownie that's made with sweet potatoes and honey and all this stuff, that's still a brownie. Okay, that's not gonna move you in the right direction of body composition. Yes, it's cleaner than a normal brownie, but it's not gonna do you any good if you're trying to improve your body composition. So real food all the way, the stricter you can be with that, the better you will be. Next is a not eating when you do not have a meal, and that can fall if, if I'm not hungry. So snacking throughout the day is something that we want to avoid. So before you even have your meal, even if you have it planned out, I want you to look, listen to your body and am I hungry right now or am I just eating because it's convenient? Or am I just eating this handful of whatever it is because it's convenient for me? Am I hungry or am I just mindlessly putting stuff in my mouth? And my last little tip is um, not eating to where I feel stuffed. Now this is gonna take some effort of why you're eating your meal, paying attention to how you feel. Okay, maybe you don't finish your whole plate. So paying attention to how you feel as you eat your meals. And then uh, me and Paul have kind of come up with this good thing. If you have your meal, before you go back for seconds, 
what we like to do is kind of a, set a timer. So say you finish your whole plate, you had a great meal of real food, set a timer, and if you think you wanna go back for a second, set a timer for 15 minutes. At that 15 minute mark, then evaluate, am I still hungry, do I need a second plate? Or am I good? These three things right here are kind of the secret to body weight composition. It's not that we need more cardio. A lot of this, you're getting everything you need when you do come to the gym, but things might need to change outside of the gym and you can make leaps and bounds in your progress with the choices you make outside of the gym. All right, so the last part are three things that should just be completely out of your diet. If you do have them, they are not moving you forward whatsoever. The first one is alcohol and soda, okay? Now I'm not saying don't drink it, but just know that if you do, it is not moving you forward in your progression to what you want, okay? Soda is in the same category, and soda is very tricky because you can have sodas throughout the day, and before you know it, you've had a two liters of soda, and that is just wrecking your system. And the last one, and these two are kind of combined, non-perishable foods, any kind of sweets or pastries or breads, those should just not be entering your body, okay? If you do decide to do it, it's totally fine, but just know I'm making a choice that if I eat this, this is not serving me well, all right? All right, guys, I hope you take this video, make some right choices, and you will start seeing results in the places that you want to see them. Thank you so much, let's make some right choices this month. If you are completely new to this real food, you need to click on the link below. We have a holistic practitioner that works with all of our members. He gives them a free consultation for one hour where he goes into a lot of stuff. I cannot say enough about this guy. He has completely changed my life. So please click on the link below, schedule an appointment with him and learn everything you need to know from an expert about real food.